What are you doing up there, Heidi? <laughs> okay, so we just built this treadmill as I showed you the box before. It's actually pretty simple. It was like three steps. Um, but we're trying to figure out where to put it. And basically we have this setup here where I have my desk in the corner, this desk, and then our, this um, exercise bike is going to go downstairs in our storage locker. So I think you're putting the treadmill there, but it's kind of annoying that it's in Locke's office. So you know, the natural place is to put it in this corner where my desk is, and then move my desk here, and then we could do something else with this desk. So I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> We're going to rearrange everything, but I think this will be for the best because it'll be easier for me to use the treadmill if it's over here than in Locke's office. But now I just have the whole big thing of moving everything, but I think it will be worth it. And um, we're also just trying to think out the best is for cat safety as well. So we're trying to figure out every single way that she might hurt herself with this. So um, I think in that corner over there will be the safest. But silly old Heidi. Right, Heidi? Anyway, let's get on to it. Okay, we have the living room back together. And we have moved my desk to this section here. And the treadmill is now over there. I don't think I have room to move my bookcase. So I'm just going to have to walk across to use it. But that's okay. Because I think this works better. We're gonna deal with that stuff in Locks Office later, but for now everything's pretty like in place and cleaned up. And we can chill in the living room again. We have some polystyrene to deal with. We're putting it up there because, you know, cats shouldn't be playing with it, but yeah, I think this will work out alright. And uh, it'll be easy to use the treadmill there. But yes. That is where we are at things today. Now I'm looking at YouTube and I'm very, very tired. <laughs> Making burgers. Here's my burger. Oh, you can't see it in this light. Terrible burger light. There's onions. And there's fries. Yum yum. Hot! Hot! <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Slightly better light. There's my burger. It's burger sauce. It has burger, Monterey Jack cheese. We got onion, tomato, and lettuce. And a pickle. And some fries on the side. <laughs> yeah. Hey you, it's Jess here, and um, I haven't talked <clears throat> much this vlog. I don't know what just had my voice, um, but I haven't talked much this vlog, just showing you bits and pieces. Um, we are going to get into some drawing soon. Today, I had to do a lot of drawing today. It is the 5th of October. Technically, this set's supposed to come out today. It's my spa set, and it's not anywhere near finished. <laughs> I've drawn all the people, and I've drawn half the line art of one of the scenes. That's it. So I gotta do all the scenes and the elements today. That's my plan. And then, or at least most of the, up to the elements that I can do. And then tomorrow, um, I will release a set. I'll finish the elements to the papers, glitters, and listings. And we'll get it up done tomorrow. It's just one day. Friday's fine as well. Um... 
yeah i just haven't been able to do the the work recently just been dealing with other stuff in life um i was supposed to have an appointment on the third but i moved it to the 19th but now i have an appointment on the 19th and the 20th and then another one now on the 27th and my appointment on the 27th is five hours long <laughs> so that's fun and so i've just been thinking about those but also I've been having a bit annoying sleep and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's just a change of season, you know. It's really gotten proper autumn now. I apologize for the light, but we're in like, we're in, we're in autumn winter light here in Finland now. <laughs> Say goodbye to the sun. So, um, yeah. I've just been really tired. I get eye twitchies at the moment as well. <sighs> Plus the thing is, so I've, my eye has been twitching. So I looked it up and it's like stress, fatigue, caffeine. And well, so I, I actually quit most of this week. I haven't drunk any coffee and I was still getting a couple of eye twitches here and there, but not like tons of eye twitches. So maybe it's that caffeine, but also I cannot function without caffeine. I'm kind of self-medicating with it in that way. <laughs> Uh, like I literally just, my brain is not there without caffeine. And it's not like it's in a like, oh, I'm so tired without it. It's more of, um, I'm so scatterbrained without it. <laughs> so today I'm having a coffee. I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't care. I think I'd rather have a functional brain and an eye twitch than not the other way around. No eye twitch and not being able to do anything. So hopefully as I get this caffeine down me, this coffee, we can work our way to doing the work we need to do. Um, I mean, that might even include just staying up late tonight as well. But, you know, because I am a bit behind, I'm drawing spa. Um, I've got a few suggestions for names from people on Instagram, so I and I like a few of them, so I'll probably choose that. I haven't chosen yet, but it's a spa related one. So we've got like massage chairs, and we've got girls in like women in um well I've got two women just dressed normally, like they're off to the spa. And then I have like two planet uh people that are like two people like in robe like in towels and robes, like mid spa. And then I'm just going to do like, I don't know, spa fresh things and flowers and stuff like that. Yeah, it's if you go to the spa one week, um, one day and you want to put it in your planner for the week. So that was a request. Um, so it'd be good to get that done. I've never done it before. So I feel like it's nice to have in the collection. Nice to have as an anytime kit for whenever this might happen. You get to go to the spa and treat yourself to a massage or whatever and then yes that's what I'm doing but I'm a bit behind I should have finished it last week and I'm supposed to be working on my one piece set at the same time and I've done a bit of line work for a scene and that's about it so I need to work on that as well and then I need to draw next week's set which is um it's going to be winter in paris it would have already hopefully released by the time this vlog goes up this vlog's going to go up on my birthday actually um so yay happy birthday me <laughs> uh if, so uh yeah so it's my birthday today of the vlog posting but not today it's the 5th of october today my birthday's on the 16th uh, and i'll be turning 35 apparently i think i don't remember i think it's 35 <laughs> Who knows what birthdays are once you're 30, you know what I mean? But I think it's 35, so yeah, fun times. <laughs> so that's when this vlog is supposed to go up. So we might have some Paris winter in here as well. The thing is, it's like, it's hard to draw and film at the same time, especially because oh, my hair's just a mess today. I apologize. Um, Especially because I do like to listen to music or read a book while I um, draw and it's usually through my phone and you know sound stops when you try to film. So it kind of gets out of my groove and I just need to stay in 
my focus lane <laughs> and do work. So I'll show you what I can. Um, you know, I'll update you. I drew, I, the last thing I filmed was actually my Christmas stuff, my Christmas art, the one I did for, um, SPC, which was just released this week that I'm filming this like yesterday. This is the Merry and New set, which is like the Christmas and New Year's Eve put together. So I actually feel myself drawing a lot of that in a lot of detail, actually, um, especially the scene, the like the double box scene. And I also drew, um, filmed me drawing my shop set tinsel as well. But the, that vlog is going to be up in Planmas. So December 15th, it's going to come out. I just saw like it'd be nice to have um, like more of a themed vlog then. I think I'm planning to do like a vlog that I actually film in December too. So technically there'll be two vlogs during Planmas, so I think that'll be nice. But I thought it'd be fun to have like the Christmas themed on during Christmas. Um, Heidi just got up and took a stick, like a one of her play sticks, and just walked off with it into the bedroom. <laughs> Cats are so random, you know. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna pick this stick up and I'm gonna go. <laughs> but yeah. Um Yeah, so today they were drawing most of the spot. Like, I had to do all the scenes. I've drawn all the people. I had to draw the elements. The scenes are actually pretty simple. I've just been putting it off because my brain doesn't work. Um, so, yeah. I think it's because um, well, after those Christmas sets, I did a second custom for Andrea, which is a more general theme. Should be pretty popular. I think it turned out really, really well. I didn't film any of it. I don't know when she's releasing that on. Um, actually, hopefully soon, because that would be fun. But um, we both sort of planned it. It's like a theme that most people will use. And we, we tried to plan it out to make it as inclusive as possible, like to all sorts of people. You'll see what I mean when it comes out. If it's out yet or not, I don't know. Um, but I think it turned out really well. So I'm, I was happy with that custom. So I did those three sets, like one after the other, and then I was kind of a bit burnt out and a bit all over the place. And by the end of the month, each month, I'm kind of like, <laughs> so hard. It's so hard just to work week after week after week with art. And it's just, it's coming from a different place. If I was doing any other work, like just admin work or something, I'd be fine. I'd be like, <laughs> you know, but, um, and I feel like it was a lot easier back when I was also doing my PhD at the same time, because then I had breaks in my brain, different kinds of thinking. And I actually prefer drawing over doing my PhD. And now, now I'm like, oh, now I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> um, I mean, I have a things I could do, but I just can't get myself to do that. This is why I'm having a five hour um, appointment this month. But, um, so I'm working on it. I'm working on it, guys. Sometimes you just gotta look after yourself and reach out there and get the appointments. You know what I mean? I'll talk about it later. Probably next vlog. We'll see how those appointments do. But I'm just telling you guys, I'm working on it. I'm working on myself. At the same time, it's trying to just work, but yeah. So, all right. Okay. Trying to uh, put my, my thoughts together here. Okay. So I think what I actually want to do is get the dishes on. I think if I do a little bit of tidying up, it'll get the body going. I'll put some music on, feel a bit more productive feeling because I've done some cleaning then I'll get into the drawing work because um, I also need to have lunch of some sort before then because it's after 12 now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start cleaning and then I'm going to have something to eat and then we're going to get into work drawing because um, I feel a bit more motivated then, a bit more. I can move my body around and listen to some music and get pumped. I think that's my plan of how to get into this drawing work. I've got half the line work done for this double box scene, so at least we get that done. And I think I'm going to focus on one of the, I've got three scenes planned, but I'm going to focus on 
the double box seat and one of the first seats and then we'll see how I feel because I might not need three seats. It's not always needed. So, you know, I could just skip out on the third scene. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do the two scenes and then I'll do as many, I'll do the elements and then we'll circle back to the third scene. And if we have time and energy, we're feeling it, then we'll do the third scene. I think that's a good compromise. Um, it's a spa set. So the main, the double box scene is a beautiful set of like, there's a, like a, a shallow pool and there's plants and then through the middle, there's like the massage, like the sort of relaxing lounge chairs. And then the other, then they have two full box scenes and one of them is, um, just like a se another set of chairs, but this time it's like foot massage chairs. Maybe I still want to include that. I'll, I'll still do three of the scenes because the other scene that I was going to do instead of... So the foot massage scene is one I was thinking I could leave to last. And the other scene I wanted to include was like this really nice sort of um, display of like drink, like water and stuff like that, you know. The stuff of the cucumber waters and things that they have out while you're um swanning about need to pick things up you know and towels the water um hand sanitizer things like that um looking at it now like they're pretty simple scenes so i should just do all three because i think it's nice to like you have the like, the relaxing one you have the towels and water but then you also i feel like having the foot massage, pedicures kind of seats. Just makes sense to have. And then with the people, I mean, by the time you've seen this vlog, you would have seen the kit, but um, the set all done. But I've already drawn the people and I've got like two um, people who are like heading there or they're heading out, you know, they're just, they're normally dressed, uh, but it's very clean. Uh, I'm trying to make this very clean, very neutral. And then I have two sets of people who are in towels and robes kind of thing. Um, mid spa and then we're just gonna have like flavored waters and ta like bathrobes slippers flowers a nice outfit some candles and then some just like bath oils combs things like that oh I feel like that's kind of spa-y I've never been to a spa I don't know <laughs> it's never been a big thing for me I'm, uh, I'm very like no touchy <laughs> No touch. If you know the film, no touchy. I feel like everyone's been watching um, The Emperor's New Groove lately, especially on reaction channels. That is my guilty pleasure. I watch a lot of reaction channels. I think you're thinking like, you'll watch people who watch stuff. I only watch the ones where I've, I've seen the film or the TV show before or the music. And I don't know why I just really love watching people react to things I've watched like things that I like and when they react you know that they like it too I just really enjoy that so I've watched like one piece a billion the live action of one piece a billion times because I've watched like six people react to it like the whole show I have a problem okay <laughs> I just really like that um those kind of videos, I don't know. They just speak to me, they make me feel good inside. <laughs> and well, that's good. Whatever whatever works for you in a, in a way that doesn't hurt other people. And I think that's a pretty innocent way. <laughs> it's like pe watching people play games too. I don't know, I watch people watch movies and see their reactions and I'm like, yes, laugh at that bit, it's really funny. <laughs> And there's also ones where like they notice completely other things and it's just really fascinating. You're like, oh, I never noticed that before. And I've been, I recently been watching a few people watch Wheel of Time and um, that's been good too. And luckily not too many book spoilers because I'm not that far up in the books of Wheel of Time. It's an, um, I've read three of the books of Wheel of Time. Technically this season that's currently on that's finishing this week uh, is the second book. So I've read it, but like, yeah, I mostly remember it. <laughs> I'm like, do I remember some of these people? I think I do. 
when they're doing like the um cast announcements they're like this person's playing this character i'm like who is this character i read this book what's happening <laughs> i should know who this person is and i'm just really i just couldn't remember will of time books are a lot but they're very good to be honest i do really enjoy them Right now I'm trying to work on my The Expanse. So I've read four books of The Expanse now and I got five left. And I've read three of The Will of Time, which means I have a, gosh, like 15 left. <laughs> no, it can't be that many. I think it's 14, is it 13 or 14 books altogether for Will of Time? And I've read three, so it's a lot. But. And then, the problem is, we're going into book talk now, but the problem is the next Stormlight Archive book, Brandon Sanderson just hit 75% on his first draft. So I think he's actually going to get it out next year, which means I have to reread all of Stormlight Archive before then. <laughs> I have a lot of reading to do. Anyway, also while I'm drawing this set, I'm going to be reading the book, another Brandon Sanderson book, it's The Sunlit Man. And this is the fourth and final of his secret projects. It just came out on the first, so I want to get it read. Um, it's only 11 hours, so it shouldn't take too long. You know, it'll take 11 hours <laughs> to read. Um, but yeah, so I, I just read the prologue and I really enjoyed it so far. It's really interesting. So I have that to read while I draw. But okay, stop tatting. The 17 minutes, although I feel like a lot of people say when they, they watch vlogs, it's more like a podcast, they're more listening to it. So I'm, I'm trying to do more talky bits than just um, showy bits with music. I did do that in my Xmas vlog that you'll see on uh, during Plymouth when I drew the Christmas sets. I actually did a voiceover in some of the silent parts. So there's talking throughout the whole vlog. So hopefully that works out well. I can see about doing that for the next vlogs if you're interested in that, but yeah, so oh my god, I know okay, stop talking. We're gonna put some music on, we're gonna clean, we're gonna put the dishes on, we're gonna find out how to get some food, because I don't think there's anything to actually eat. But I wanna tidy that up and I kinda wanna tidy up the fridge a bit. Look, if I just get into cleaning, I'll feel good, I'll feel dolphins, then we'll be out of work afterwards we got all nine you know we got time so and they're pretty simple once i get got once i get the ball rolling and it get into focus mode work will get done but yeah i think i'm gonna do cleaning first because i just feel like it and lux in the office today and it's just nice to be alone <laughs> and um just putting around the house you know what i mean so i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna start I also have some laundry to put away. I can see it. So I'm going to do all that cleaning stuff. I don't know if I'll show you guys. Because it's pretty like. Look at this. We have to we have to rip this box up. So we can put it in recycling. But um, I guess I can show you guys. It's dirty. <laughs> it's messy. I've been working on it. Uh, but yeah. The dishes. Yeah. It all needs to be done. I don't think it's going to be squeaky clean, but maybe I'll show you me doing some cleaning up. We'll see. I don't have this tripod here, so I could, but I'm going to get onto it now. All right.
Okay, dishwasher's on, so it's really loud, but it's not perfect. That was a very quick clean. Um, but I have this side done, and then this side. It's pretty much cleaned up. The floor is a mess, so I'm going to screw it over that. Um, I need to pick up some stuff and then vacuum the floor, but we mostly got it done. This is pretty gross now. It's mildly clean, but it was good to get that cleaning done. I got a melt on. Now I'm actually sweaty, so because I went pretty fast. <laughs> but it's good to have the dishwasher on and everything cleaned up, so I feel a little bit more at ease. But yes, now you can see like I'm just a little bit sweaty, but I did have these headphones on, so so I could film and also listen to music from my laptop. But yeah, so that is done. Dishwasher going, and now I think I'm going to finish off my coffee and see what I can have for lunch and I'm feeling a bit better with having the kitchen cleaned well tidy <laughs> yeah so um instead of doing my work I am editing my vlog <laughs> that you watch right now I like to edit in chunks just so once it's done it's done but Andre needs me to do some papers um I think by the time you'll see this uh vlog this set should be in her shop otherwise it's a spoiler but uh it's a christmas set i assume she the artist just got it done oh my god guys um so when she sends me for papers to do for andrea she sends me the full box sheet with the colors that she's gonna do and this art is amazing I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be up. I can cut this out of the vlog if it's not. Okay, if it's released, it is the Christmas baking set by Dusk and crud, it is beautiful. Dusk is like so freaking talent. Well, not, I don't wanna say talented because I feel like talented is not that great of a, as I'm speaking as an artist, like talent is like a minus like 1% of this stuff because I feel like half of it 99% of it is um <clears throat> just work but she and practice and having an eye but oh my god freaking amazing I'm just saying I should just get to my point but Dusk is so good at what she does she's such a good artist you can kind of see it here um but yeah, so what I'm doing is she wanted some papers for me instead. And sometimes it happens. Sometimes it's easier just to have me do five or six papers. And Audrey is very kind and doesn't mind if I reuse some of my stuff. And I always make sure it works for the... Um, Oh gosh, I don't know if I could do this while well, also, uh, okay, I can't do this. <laughs> I've got muscle memory trying to remember how to do this part, but anyway, uh, but I'll just show you, I was just doing some little, uh, so I've already had these sort of candy canes done, so I changed the color, and because it's baking, I, I use this cute little stamp to make the little snowman. Just some simple papers to go with this one because I want to let the art really shine. But I do try and make sure that they're on theme. I do some special papers as well as some not typical papers like some some tartans, plaids, and some painterly stuff. This is my like um, extras. So extra stuff I've drawn over the years. Like Andre asked for a melted and wax cup. Um, flat lay and then things so I drew that one time she wants some extra kids just randomly so I did that <clears throat> um, this is when we were changing up one of the birthday sets like she just wanted a cake kids and a scene so I did those in this extra section here this is my Instagram branding and my new branding stuff I did this little Christmas drawing the other year and now I just kind of like I've set it up to make papers <laughs> for Andrea because she asked for a few of them. 
I'm going to stick them on in here as well that I'm going to do after this. Um, but yeah, just show you some of my... This is me doing papers for Andrea. She just asked me um, for random sets, sends me the full box and the colors. Then I make five to six papers and um, she does pay me for these. So it's a little extra cash. So watching Andrea's vlog that just came up. Um, ignore that it's 3.50 p.m. and I'm finally making lunch. But I finally just found some sesame ramen in the pantry. So I've got a pot on full butter and we have noodles and watch Andrea. Yep. Am I still procrastinating? Yes. But it means, okay, okay. So I've only got one pan and it's half of the size at once from the recipe. So I baked one half, gonna let it cool enough to put it on my thing. And then I'm gonna take the pan outside because it's cold and <laughs> the pan will cool down pretty quickly. And then we could put the second cake on. But look at it, it's beautiful. Yum yum, can we have cake? Cake! So, last thing I showed you was drawing, uh, so doing some scenes for the unwind set I've named it. Um, and a person on YouTube suggested the name unwind, although I think they're here on YouTube too, aren't you? But um, I'm just watching, Heidi is looking at the pillow on our couch like as if it's offended her. <laughs> Anyway, it's kind of dark and cold because it is now Monday morning. And um, so last night I, I went to sleep. So my mind is done and set up. Um, I actually finished most of it on the Saturday night. And I kind of just wanted to sit there and just draw it. I didn't have much else to really um, vlog about because uh, yeah, on Friday I had a really bad sinus cold. I think it was Thursday and Friday. So when I was doing the cleaning the kitchen, I actually had like the pain in my nose area. And then Friday was a lot worse. So I kind of just rested on Friday. And um, so I didn't really film much that day. But yeah. Hey, what was I saying? Keep going, Jess. Keep going. All right. <laughs> I'm going to keep having my coffee. I'm back on my coffee. I twitch be damned because it's been twitching anyway without coffee. I'm probably just eternally fatigued now or something. Anyway. Um, yeah, so it, it, the sinus pain was pretty bad on Friday. You know that weird crunchy pain you get in your, like, crack crunchy pain in your nose when you have a sinus thing? I hate it so much. So I just rest on Friday. Woke up a Saturday feeling pretty good, so I think it's just a two-day thing. Got it over with, drank a lot of water, so uh, Saturday night, I just finished the unwind set. I just sat and listened to my book and just drew, 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 drew. I got it done about 12 a.m., which is pretty good. I think I started really getting into it about 8 p.m., and then... Um, I actually planned to do the listings for it on a Sunday, but I was like, you know what? It's only midnight. I still feel good. So I did the listings 
So I was ahead on work on Sunday. I actually just took the day off, basically. Uh, I did filming for YouTube, which I count as part of my thing. Like, YouTube is kind of still also my hobby, but it's also kind of part of my whole work. <laughs> so I made sure to get a plan with me done because I hadn't done it for the last two weeks. I, I wasn't really in the mood to talk then. I don't know. So I just kept those spreads to myself. But... Uh, Plymus will have a July through September flip through, so you'll get to see those spreads uh, in Plymus. But, so I just chilled on Sunday, had my first workout, went to sleep at like 10 p.m. I fell asleep. Then I woke up at 2 a.m. to feed Heidi breakfast because that's when she likes to eat because she's a jerk. Couldn't fall back asleep. No way, no how. I just put my laptop on. To explain the line <laughs> couldn't fall back to sleep so i've just been awake since 2 a.m and it's 7 a.m now i'm doing all right doing okay i'm still pretty awake um but yeah so it's monday we got back to work unwind is done but we still need to catch up because i did get put behind on my plans for october because of taking too long to draw it um, and it really doesn't take me so long. Like, it's really frustrating. Like, if you think my productivity is frustrating, I am more frustrated because I'm the one who's living in this head, in this mind that doesn't do stuff. But um, we're working on it. We got stuff coming up to work on that, hopefully. At least one avenue of it. Uh, but, so today, my I'm catching up by doing... Um, the people for my next set that's coming out. Uh, so it would have already come out for this vlog. So it's going to come out this week. And I'm hoping to get it done by Thursday, Friday instead of the Sunday like last time. So my Paris winter set, I don't know what I'm calling it yet, but it's Paris and winter. So I'm going to, I want to draw all the people today. And then I also want to draw as much as I can of, um, I'm doing a custom for Andrea again. Um, and I won't, again, I won't release the theme for it because I don't know when she's releasing it. So I'm, I'm hoping to do the people for that today. At least the line art would be good. At least because it's like coloring in doesn't take so much time because I do make sure that my line art, I'm able to use the fill bucket or the, you know, you could just drag and drop the color into the space. I don't have to manually color it in so it makes everything so much faster <laughs> so uh, at least if i get the line out of the custom people today as well i will be ahead but i want to get the paris people entirely done because obviously that's the um that is what we need to get done but i do want to get the custom finished this week as well and then my other plan was to recolor the scenes for the Hip Hop Array because they're going to be releasing next week during the sale. Um, like next week as in not the week that I'm filming this, but the week of my birthday. Because uh, my birthday is on the 16th and that's when the shop sale starts. I'm going to be releasing the Hip Hip Array recolors. I've got a dark fall one as well as a green and blue, which could be good for winter. Or if you just prefer green or blue. Um, so I want to get the scenes of that recolored. Um, we'll get the ball rolling on that. And the only other thing happening today is I do want to get a 30 minute walk in sometime. I might have a nap sometime today though, because I don't know how long I can sustain being awake from 2am at the moment, but yeah, so I might, I might be a nap midday. Um. But that also means I might be out of drawer into the night, so I'll have time. And then supposedly I have a DHL delivery coming. This is the usual stick of Happy Mail. But what I want to show you guys is in this Happy Mail is my Mattel official Mattel I Am Knuff hoodie. I I remember it was first linked when the Barbie movie came out and it sold out. It's literally the copy of what he wears at the end of the film. I Am Knuff with the like rainbow fleece and then they opened it for pre-order and I hummed and I hard for days and I was like screw it I'm just gonna buy it I bought it in 3xl like big squishy comfortable it is polyester 
but I feel like it's so hard not to buy polyester stuff these days. I, I do try and be mindful of it, but um, I also have to buy my clothes from you know less higher end stuff because of my size. But as a curvier lady, uh, but it will keep me warm in the winter <laughs> and it's thick enough hoodies. So um, yeah, I pre-ordered it and now it's in my box and it is now in Happy Mail today hopefully it says it's cleared processing but i've had problems where it's had its clearance processing complete and then it just doesn't get delivered on the day even though it says it should be delivered today like stuff happens with customs and then it's going to be like tomorrow but they did apparently clear the processing at 3 a.m so um fingers crossed and then i can show you guys the hoodie, I'm going to show it to you anyway. I also got some like clothes mail in recently, so maybe today. Because also the other thing, I'm talking to you a lot today because Luck is at the office today and they're actually then like all day long. They have workshops for some sort of contract, for some project. <laughs> I can't talk about it much because they can't talk about it much. They have a lot of NDAs on them. If you don't know, my partner Luck is a programmer. I think they're a back-end developer. I think it's back-end. Um, I don't know exactly what they do developing, but I also can't know exactly because they work for a sub-company of like the main telecommunications company here. Um, so it's like T-Mobile or for Australian, it's like Telstra. Oh. So they are busy today. Um, and uh, yeah, so I have time to wander about and be my ridiculous self out loud. <laughs> it's just because I usually try not, it's not that I'm embarrassed to film in front of them. It's more like, which there's a little bit of that, but it's more like they have meetings randomly and calls throughout the day. And I don't want to like have their calls in the background of my videos or me in the background of their calls, you know? So. We have a small apartment as you've seen, so it's, um, I just prefer to keep it separate and light. Um, so it makes vlogging a little hard, but when they have days in the office, it's nice. So what I was going to say is I have a bunch of other new clothes in. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you that. I'll do a little fashion uh, show for you guys. <laughs> but uh, my dad sent me some birthday money for some clothes. So I got some stuff from H&M as well as a co -ord set that I got from ASOS that I've been dying to have. But yeah, I'll show you guys later. But for now, let's get started in some work. I think I can do the recolors pretty easy this morning. Um, and yeah, so, talk to you guys in a second. Here we are starting on the recolors of the Hip Hop Hooray art, because I got all the stuff here. Still in the pin the peach color, as you can see. <laughs> um, but we have the two colorways going to come out the week that this vlog comes out, I guess. Um, <laughs> we got this like this deep autumn color, which I wasn't sure how well the darker colors would actually work on this art, but I really like it. And then the other colorway is this like greens and blues. This might be good in December, uh, uh, December or like winter, January, February, March. April has brought me something. April, what? Heidi has brought me something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway. So uh, basically the way that I'm doing it is you can see when I open, I have my color layers and I have each color and basically I put in the same colors into my canvas, put in my new color palettes underneath and where I see this orange kind of color, like here, I will just replace it with the red or the blue um, and so on and so forth to recolor everything. Um, then the people take the longest because each one of them has seven variations each. Well, except for the baby, which only has three. So that's the fastest. But and then I go to the, do the same for all of these. So there's the peach. Here's the original lot. 
Then I gotta do all the papers. This is gonna be one huge gallery, you guys. Here at the top, you can see all three of the blues. And then on the same canvas, I actually have the second colorway underneath. Because um, I find that that's gonna be easier when I put it into my computer. I um, just have them together, so yeah, which is what I have um, in here as well. We've got the purple colorway is under is included in all of this, as you can see. But um, yeah, so that is how we're recoloring. I just did the scenes, so we're on to a good start for next week. All right, happy mail just got in. I just cut it open. My dress wasn't going to be at the top. We've got a Rose Girls order, and we got all the sticky mail. Oh my god, look. Look, you guys. Oh, my caress press inserts for next year. Oh my god, look. Heidi's also looking. Hello. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I know it's going to be huge, but I kind of want that. Okay. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, it's hard with one hand. E. Can you help me? Okay, I'm just gonna open this plastic. All right, here we go. It's like fuzzy, but it's actually fairly thin, which I think is good because uh, with this much like fuzzy polyester on you, I don't think. It needs to be very thick. You can see that? It's not like a, it doesn't seem like it's like a Snuggie or anything, but it looks nicely made. Super soft on the inside. Oh my God, Heidi. Are you good enough? <laughs> Come on, off you get. No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> uh, I guess I might as well go put this on now and I'll show you my other clothes that I've gotten recently. So let's do a try on. Here we go. Sorry, this. I'll put the light on. Sorry, I need to like do laundry and put laundry away. <laughs> it's clean. But here we go. I am Knuff. It looks so cool. Oh, I love it. It's got the comfiness. How do I look compared to Ryan Gosling? I'm just going to put Ryan Gosling in picture over the top of this. Thanks, Barbie. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna, oh my god, I really love it. On the picture of Mattel, this didn't actually look that big, but in person, it is so much bigger, the the embroidery. So this is 3XL. So it actually, like, I think it runs small, because it feels more like a 2XL, but um, the sleeves are long enough, that's what's important, and also it's actually pretty long, too. Has a pocket. It has a little bit of a static when I put it on, but really happy with that. All right, I'll show you what else um, I got for my birthday. All right, it doesn't look great with what my pants that I'm wearing. I probably wear this with leggings, um, with a tighter leg fit. But this is like a jumper that I got. I wanted to get something a bit more. Mature and comfy and I like how long it ended up being. So I think this will be good uh, With leggings or something comfortable And you got like this zip up Kind of look here uh, This is like the the main showy piece I got from H&M which I know is a little boring I also got like a plain black hoodie as well as some leggings and joggers like track pants tracky dags <laughs> Um, some tights and stuff for sort of autumn winter tights, but yeah, this is the first main thing that I got. I thought it'd be nice just to have a different kind of jumper that looks a bit more mature, but uh, a bit more simple than my usual graphic hoodies to go out with. I wish the sleeves were a little bit longer. I mean, they're okay, but longer and a bit tighter, but that's all right. I like it anyway, so it'll be comfy. And then let me show you the ASOS cord that I've been wanting for ages. All right, here it is. <laughs> it's slinky, it's long. Look how long this is. I got one size up than usual because I want it to be like 
swishy and pretty. But look at the fabric. Let me show you. Look how beautiful that is. I've had this on my wish list for so long. I just think it's gorgeous. And um, yes, yeah, so it's the two piece that buttons up and then you have the pants, which are nice. They're not too tight. Like, so the front of the waistband is done, but on the back it is ruched. But I like the detail that, so you can stretch it out. I like the detail that the front is finished. I suppose you could tuck it in and be like, oh, I don't know. I think it's real pretty and I'll probably just wear it around the house, not actually out and about, but um, I don't know, I really like it. And it's just something to be like, oh, I feel like I should have a glass of rosé, this one about me. But yeah. Also, so this is brand, if you want to know, is Simply B. And it actually comes with um, extra hidden buttons on the inside. See that? So in case you get gapping, because this is where the gapping would happen. Obviously, I've got to size up, so I'm not going to get gapping. In case you have gapping here, and it also has one down by the stomach, too. I thought that was really cool that it has, like, the hidden buttons for gapping, but... I don't know. <laughs> I'm just funny about in my witchy chic because it feels kind of witchy with this black stars anyway <sighs> try and close makes you too excited and thus also sweaty but all right i also wanted to show you this malibu barbie shirt this is from an artist it's creepy something i will link it in the description description below because I can't remember their exact name, but they did a pre-order for these and it's just so beautiful. <laughs> Love it so much. So now I'm full Halloween. Nice one, but I'm really happy with the Knuff jumper. It was, you know, it was just a fun spend and it's nice to have in my collection and I can wear it through winter. And maybe you'll see these, um, sleeves in some videos in the future but yeah i love the way it turned out i think the embroidery turned out really nicely but yeah that is my clothes haul now i should probably go look at the rest of the stuff i got
So while I was doing Paris of Winter, I decided um, I really needed to get some more recoloring of Hip Hip Hooray done. So Friday morning, I just got it all finished, the recoloring, and then I had to recolor and make papers. So this is one of the papers that I've been recoloring a lot. Um, it's been with a few sets, but also every Hip Hip Hooray art. I really love the rainbows and it's not too difficult to recolor. It's just, you know, having to, um, because the rainbows are on one layer, I have to change all the colors individually. So I finished up the full one, but as you can see here in, I'm going to about to highlight it to you. Um, I already went and saved the paper. I'm like, oh crud, look, I've, <laughs> I've missed a part. I forgot to make it orange. So I'm going to quickly do that and resave this paper for the full colorway, but then we can get back on to doing the cool colorway. So I'm going to copy that canvas and put it back into my full colorway um, gallery because obviously this paper lives with a different set. I just go back and recolor it <laughs> when I want to. So I just had to pick what color stars I wanted to do. Um, at the moment it's looking very green, um, but as you can see here I've I'm choosing between the two background colors, the light blue or the mint, and I think I choose the light blue because uh, it brings a bit more balance to all the green that's in the rainbows. But that's the pattern for Hip Hip Array. Now, I had to do um, two of, because I did two colorways, I wanted to do both, I had to do both listings at the same time because they're going up at the same time. So my trick of at least the papers and um, to do this more quickly was to um, copy and paste both. I had both sets of papers open because they both have their own 12 papers. And I would uh, copy and paste paper one and paper one of both. And then um, we would clip mask both of them to the one section of my template. And then I would flatten, save as the full colorway. And then I just had to delete the top layer of each clip masking. And I had the cool color, the cool colorway underneath. Um, so that way I got two lots of listings done at the same time. And I get it done here as well on the secondary pages where I try and show um, more of what the actual paper looks like all together. So I'm actually moving two layers of images per box here. And then we'll flatten, save as full, then unflatten and save, delete and save as cool. So I like, really like that trick. Sadly, the trick doesn't work with the clue part. Not that I have found, um, you pretty much still have to do all of this by hand. You can't really drag and drop the clip art on top of each other that I found. Now, I could probably, I think at the end of this, um, I decided after I did the main page here, the front page of the art listings, I did them both individually and I found that um, it would just take too long. So when I did the subsequent pages where I show all the pieces of the elements, I did decide to um, open up both sets of clip arts. And this makes my Photoshop a little bit slower. I did, I decided, I made sure I closed all my other applications because there are 68 clip arts for both sets. So then I have what? 70, 78 or something, oh, hundred and a lot of, I can't do the maths while I'm looking at this, um, but it's a lot of clip art pieces, a lot of images that are open in Photoshop at the same time, but, you know, I just went slow and steady, made sure I was, um, saving between things, um, so in the end, I do actually do it that way, the way I did the papers, so as you can see, I'm copy and pasting, the different elements onto the thing and just place it over the top of the old listing. And I'm going to do that for each page, but in the next ones, I copy and paste, like say the um, scenes, I copy and paste all six of them because there's three in cool and three in full. <laughs> and then I just do one page being, and I just do them both at the same time and then delete one layer after the other once I've saved one. So. The main thing I had to do is make sure I saved properly and I saved in the right folder because I'm saving them into individual folders so I don't get the listings mixed up. 
it's all like it's not complicated but it's also complicated at the same time but there we have the cool version of the hip hip hooray cover art all done and it looks exactly like the other hip hip arrays. I mean, if you put them one after the other, you'll probably see small differences because they're not perfect. But they will look same on passing. And that's just uh, what I wanted to do there. That's It took a couple of hours um, to do that because I'm doing so many at the same time. And then I make sure to put my same background across all of the... I have like an art thing and then I have a people thing. For my templates but um we're almost finished up with this vlog i'm just showing a little autumn walk because everything was looking rather beautiful if not urban <laughs> um but yeah part of helsinki for you okay i think i'm going to be finishing off the vlog here but let's um take a wrap let's have a look at what we did in this vlog <laughs> So, um, I finished and released the spa set that got released called Unwind. And then I did like four papers for Andrea during this time. So those are good and got done. <laughs> so she can print those kits up and things. Then I finished the recolors of Hip Hip Array, both sets of colors. Um, on Friday, I think it was, it's currently Sunday. The 15th so the day before I put this up um, but I think it was on uh, was it it was on Friday I pretty much started the recolor work at 9 a.m. and went till it took till 1 p.m. to finish recoloring all the stuff and then doing the files and then doing the listings but obviously I've shown you what I did with the last listings just before this so that takes a long time and um, it's actually pretty boring to be honest but I'm sure I'll talk about that in the uh, voiceover. I'm about to do it actually after this. And then I started on Paris Winter. Uh, it has all the people done and like the double bug scene, but not much else. I decided just to focus on, um, it was supposed to come out during this week. So it's gonna be like spa one week, then the Paris Winter one week, and then Hip Hip Parade Colors. But I just decided not to stress about it. I didn't want to release it during this weekend because it's really not the best time. So I decided to get the recolors done and the listings done. So they're going to go up Monday with the start of the sale, which makes sense because it's also my birthday. So thematically, and then Thursday, Paris winter is going to come out. So um, the start of this week, I want to get Paris winter finished. And then I want to get um, Andre's next custom done. And this custom has a bit more work to do for it. So I think I'm going to try and do it at the same time as my one piece art, um, my inspired by set. So it's going to still be pretty one piece, but I'm going to try to make it pretty inspired by so it's not too much of a pop culture set. Um, a bit more like my... Uh, Barbie art, which had some actual movie characters, but this won't have any actual um, of any of the show characters or they're not going to mildly look like <laughs> the characters even from the comics. So I think it'll work out in terms of it's inspired by, but it's also kind of piratey, but not like super pirate, you know, you'll see when it comes out. But I want to do that while at the same time doing the Andrea custom because that's going to release the week after. Um, in the second week of the sale. But yeah, so, but this Andrea custom is going to take me a bit longer because I had to draw, like, usually I can just use like a normal photo reference of like a bag or, <laughs> but this one, I pretty much have to make up everything uh, myself. It's a bit more creative, I guess. So I'll be working a bit longer on that one. So I think I'll do one piece at the same time, just so, so it's done. And then um, for the future, then we're going to get started on Valentine's. I got also an idea for like a Galentine's or a single girl or just friends set as well. So I think I'm going to do that as well. I wasn't originally going to. I was just going to do like one Valentine's set. But I got that idea. I think I have some cute references to work from. So after all of that is done, then we're going to be working on Valentine's art for the rest of October, which would be nice. 
so I will try, maybe I'll try and do a vlog with that. Otherwise, uh, November we start on a bit more like random stuff. If you want some forward planning, the first set of November that I want to draw is a spring cleaning set. So, because um, it is really fun to do spring cleaning, have everything squeaky clean in one week. So I'm going to do spring cleaning this year. And then we're going to do a little bit more generic um, and then after that, I don't have a lot of um, things like properly put in. So suppose if you have any set requests for the future to come out for spring, like spring kind of stuff, let me know. But that's what I'm going to be doing. We're doing um, Valentine's, Galentine's, and spring cleaning will be the next lot of stuff. And then prob I think a sort of planner themed one as well, just cause we haven't had one of those for a while, just straight up planning stuff. So those are the, the um, plans for the future, but we'll see how that goes. Obviously I'll, I'll try and film more vlogs in the future, maybe one a month. Um, I've already got a vlog for Plymouth, but I think I'm going to do a, another actual in December vlog as well. So you get two vlogs in, de in December, but but I think that is everything for this vlog. We got a lot of stuff done, honestly. Um, you know, the recolor just took a lot, especially with two colors and the listings took a couple of hours. So, but it's done now. So there's some more colors available. No, obviously go up today. Um, they're going to go up with the sale, I think. So it's not until 7 p.m. my time. Whereas I release these videos 2, a, 2 p.m. my time. So it's still not out yet um, at the time of this video going up. But it will be today. And then I'll just get Paris done. Um, shouldn't take me too long. So that'll be great. But yeah, so I think it's been a successful vlog. It's definitely been long enough. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've watched it all the way through, how about you leave me below? I don't know. <laughs> um a snowflake because we're about to get we're getting into the paris winter set so snowflake emoji in a comment down below if you've watched this long thank you so much for uh spending your time with me i hope you enjoyed him um but yeah <laughs> that's just been my last couple of weeks um and then ted well while i'm filming this tomorrow's my birthday so that's fine <laughs> anyway uh, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.